haven't done a video in a while. And I've been busy, okay, and life has just been happening uh, the past few months, really. Uh, I've had school, and so that took up a bunch of time, and then the holiday seasons came and went. But now it's January 1st, and one of my New Year's resolutions is to make um, more videos for YouTube. It's going to be hard, I already know. I don't know if you can see my light up there. It's green. That was a birthday present to myself. I had a bunch of Amazon gift cards, and so I decided to get myself the Philips Hue. And so what I can do, this is awesome, like those are smart bulbs up there. And I can use my phone to control the colors in, in my light. And this is my favorite color. Green's my favorite color. Did I ever tell you guys that? Uh, lime green in particular, but all greens are good. I want to show you like a demonstration of it, but... I'm using my phone to to film this, and so I don't know. Let me see something. I don't know if this will work, but I'm not gonna stop the video. Okay, yeah, that that didn't work. I uh, I was trying to. Yeah, it didn't work. Anyway, so um, I can't work my phone with the lights and film at the same time. So, anyway, it's really neat, and I love it. All right, so I went to Las Vegas. Me and my mom left on December 26th. My dad stayed home and, you know, held down the fort here. Uh, we have family that live in Las Vegas. My aunt and my uncle live there. Some of my cousins and their kids live up there. But this year, like, all of my cousins, like, in that family, uh, were in Las Vegas. And so I was like, you know, some of them I hadn't seen in literally years. Usually we stay at my aunt and uncle's uh, place, but since there were so many people there, that instead of staying there, we, we got a hotel room. Uh, it was at the JW Marriott. It was really nice. Like, that that was a beautiful place. Honestly, the drive up there was the worst drive to Las Vegas that I've ever had. And I remember one drive in particular. I think it was around Thanksgiving uh, time when I was a kid. We were leaving Las Vegas, and it took us... I think it took us, like, nine hours to get home because it was just so crowded. And this time, on the way up, it took us about nine hours because holiday traffic, and I think, I don't know how many wrecks there were, but on top of that, I had, I, I had gotten the flu. I got the flu, I remember, on like December 17th, December 18th. I was cooking uh, the sour cream cookies and I stayed up way too late. I didn't get enough sleep and I ate more of those cookies than I should have. And so I overloaded on sugar and I got sick. It really was like at its worst on like December 26th when we're caught in this traffic. And we took my dad's car, which I I don't like this car. It's so uncomfortable. The seats don't go that far back to begin with, but we had uh, put the back seats down so we could fit more luggage in there. So that kept my seat from being able to go any further back. So I couldn't recline. I could not get comfortable in this car. And I was just, I was sick. I hurt. I had a headache, my neck ache. I, um, you know, my nose was doing whatever. I just, I felt miserable. And then at one point I started feeling nauseous. And so I was like hanging out of the window, just getting ready to, to puke. In that regard, it was kind of nice that there was traffic because we weren't moving that fast. So I could you know, hang out the window and not be traveling at 60 miles an hour. We were just crawling. It was so bad. And then by the time we got to Baker, we pulled into a gas station, and that's when I blew the chunks. I, yes, I was hanging out of the car, just throwing up. I don't know how many people saw me. They're probably at home saying, yeah, we totally saw this one dude, you know, throwing up out the car. Like, it's bad. But you know what? The weird thing was, after I threw up, I felt so much better. I felt so much better. Uh, by the time we got to Las Vegas that night, once I got out of the car and we, we went to my aunt and uncle's place, my, I almost said my head was gone. My headache was gone. I wasn't nauseous. Like, I felt... I felt so much better. Uh, but then, you know, our stay in Las Vegas was fantastic. I got to see my cousins. We had a great time. They have a spa at the hotel, so I spent a lot of time in the spa. And it was just wonderful. It was a great trip. I'm glad I went. The drive home was pretty bad, too. It didn't take nine hours. It took seven hours, which is still longer than it should be. But it wasn't 
what it was when we were going up there. So I was thankful for that, and I was feeling so much better. I still had, like, no stuff going on, but I didn't have the headache. I didn't have the nausea. Like, I felt much... I, I felt good. I think I'm at the end of the the flu cycle or whatever you want to call it. I'm at the point where I get those random coughing spells that just come out of the blue. Usually at the most inopportune time when, like, I need to stay quiet. I seriously think my body knows this because I remember in school, like, I'd have exams or something and that's when I would start coughing. And I'm like, really? Like, you couldn't have coughed while I was walking to class? You had to wait till I was in class and everyone's quiet and now I gotta start coughing? Like, but anyway... I'm at that stage where my body's just getting everything, like, out of it. Oh, crap, I was supposed to buy medicine tonight, and I forgot. Oh, well. Maybe, mm, maybe I can do that tomorrow. You guys, honestly, I, like, never get the flu. I get it, like, once every, like, seven years. Uh, and so, it, 2017, it, it got me. It got everyone in the house. Feeling good, I might sound a little weird but I'm actually feeling much better I can go to the gym now like it was it was really strange because some days I would wake up feeling like fantastic but then it would deteriorate throughout the day and I just feel awful at night like I feel good in the morning bad at night and usually when you're sick it's the opposite you wake up feeling crappy but then you progressively get better throughout the day it was reversed for some reason and for a few days I was just cold like I I could not warm up. I took so many hot showers, and I was just, like, perpetually cold. And so I thought I just had some weird cold, but it was a weird cold. Like, usually when I get the cold, I get, like, a sore throat or something. My throat wasn't really sore, but, like, when I coughed, like, down here was sore. It was strange. Um, and it wasn't until, you know, I threw up in Baker that I was like, this isn't the cold. This is the flu. Like, it, the whole thing was weird, and that should have, I, I should have realized it then that this wasn't what I usually deal with. I was missing the gym. Like, I wasn't going to the gym because I felt just awful. And then I kind of felt guilty. Guilty is not the right word. I didn't feel guilty that I wasn't going to the gym. I just felt like I was losing all my gains, and I, I just, my self confidence was dropping because I wasn't going to the gym. So I forced myself this one day to go and I tried to work out and I was on the elliptical for about five minutes and I called it quits I was like I I can't I can't like this hurts way too much it hurts to breathe like I cannot do this so I wasn't ready at that point to go back to working out but now I am I went to the gym with Sam we had a good workout and I I worked out in Las Vegas, that was good. When I got home from Vegas, I worked out. So, I'm definitely, I feel, I'm, honestly, I'm feeling way better. So that was my, my Christmas time story. <sighs> yeah, I'm still recovering. I need to take down my Christmas decorations. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Anyway, bye.